very sad news that Canadian legend, the man, Rowdy Rowdy Piper died. And honestly, I'm fucking bummed about this. I realize that to a lot of people outside of Canada, just like a wrestler guy who was in like a cult movie once, um, put Put yourself in the mindset of a Canadian eight-year-old in the in the late 80s, early 90s. When there was anything with any level of Canadian content, it was thrilling. I would watch, you know, mainstream cable television from the States, as most Canadians did. We had our CBC, CTV, and they were mostly American shows. There was a little bit of Canadian content, but it was very few and far between. That's why I think a lot of people, especially my age, boys and girls, really enjoyed WWF because it actually had the most Canadian content of any show of that time period. It was so exciting to actually see Canadian towns and Canadian wrestlers actually featured on a mainstream television show. That was the only time I remember that happening as a kid, like seeing a Mountie. I know he was the villain for a while there. But seeing a Mountie <laughs> was like, oh my god, it's a Canadian thing! They're from Canadian towns! Squee! And Rowdy Rowdy Piper is from Saskatoon, a very small town in Canada. Every Canadian feels like he is their hometown hero. He's a Canadian everyman in a lot of ways. And him and the Hart brothers were a huge part of the WWF of that time period. Well, my dad uh, knew that I loved The Princess Bride, so when They Live came out, my dad was like, well, you love wrestling, so Rowdy Rowdy Piper's in this. And he uh, loved John Carpenter. He knew that the movie had mild violence, and I think I was probably like seven or eight at the time. And so mild violence was okay for me to watch. If there had been any sex in it, I probably would have had to cover my eyes or not watch it at all. But since it was just mild violence and subversive thinking that was the content of They Live, he was cool with me watching it, and I remember being mind blown by They Live. Just mind blown. And so I had these two um, conflicting opinions about media, where on one hand my dad really loved it and loved the art, where on the other hand my mom saw the manipulation. So I thought They Live really brought those subjects together really well. And it's such a simple idea, obviously, like you put on these sunglasses and you're allowed to see stuff that you normally don't see. That idea evolves. As a kid, it's a simple thing, and then as, as I got older, you start to realize that those sunglasses are a metaphor for other things, and it just gets more and more brilliant. Losing Rowdy Rowdy Piper is a huge bummer. I don't think that the WWF or the WWE would be what it is today if you didn't have characters like him. He was a character. He was super entertaining, and he was so memorable. He was one of the best. And he was in one of the greatest sci-fi movies of all time. They live. Don't argue with me. You know it's true. I'm going to go and watch a lot of the old WWF uh, wrestling matches on YouTube now. Yeah, I, I like that Rowdy Roddy just came from nothing. If, if a guy from Saskatoon can make it big and be in a John Carpenter movie and be one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, that's a fucking inspirational story. Have you guys seen Saskatoon? Seriously, look on a map and find Saskatoon. You'll be like, what? Yes, people fucking live there. And this man not only got out of there with wrestling, but became a fucking superstar. I mean, it's an inspiration. If you don't love Rowdy Rowdy Piper, I don't think you fully understand his life. He's fucking amazing. But nonetheless, I will commemorate his goodness by watching They Live for the 16 millionth time. And watching his awesome antics in the WWF and WWE over the years. Thanks so much, Rowdy Roddy.